Hello everyone and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? That's great to hear. It's time to sing our good morning song together. So let's stretch out those arms like airplane wings. We'll fly to one side, over to the other side, fly back to the middle. Now big stretch out in front and take that circle up over your head. We'll stretch on this side over to the other side. One more stretch, and now let's sing. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you're having a great day so far. We have three things to do before we move on to the calendar and weather chart. The first thing that we need to do is turn on our listening ears. Next, we have to put on our thinking hats. Today, my thinking hat has a ribbon underneath my chin. So I'm going to tie it up into a bow. And the last thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Boom, 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 boom. And now let me grab my pointing stick and we can move on to the calendar and weather chart. Let's go over the date first. Right up here, we have the month. Do you remember what the month is called? October. And today is October 12th. Let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was October 11th, and today is October 12th. And right up here, we have the year. You can say that it's 2021, but you can also say that the year is 2021. Both of those ways are correct. Let's take out our counting fingers, and we'll warm them up to give them a little stretch. Let's see how many days we've had so far in the month of October. Will you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We've had twelve days so far in the month of October. And now it's time to sing the Days of the Week song. So let's hold up seven fingers like this for each one of the days of the week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Down at the bottom of the chart, we have the days of the week to go over. So here's the first sound. Yesterday was m. Monday, the first day of the weekday. That means that today is t Tuesday, and tomorrow will be w Wednesday. But let's sing Today is Tuesday together. It goes like this. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, all day long. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, all day long. Up at the top of the chart, we have the season. It's autumn right now, friends. And I know that autumn is here at my house because I just finished taking out all the remaining plants that were still in the garden. Now that summertime is over, all of the plants have stopped producing fruit and vegetables. So we took out all of the plants and now the garden has been put to bed until the springtime. At the bottom of the chart we have a picture of the weather. So let's sing the weather song together and then we can share what we see outside. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? 
Today where I live, it's mostly sunny outside, but I do see a few puffy white cumulus clouds in the sky. It feels and looks like another summertime day, even though the season is fall, because today it's warm outside. That's why my temperature chart is on orange. Warm and mostly sunny. What about you, friends? Is it warm where you live, or has it started to cool off? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Yesterday, we started talking about this capital letter. This letter makes two sounds. Let's make the short sound together. Eh. And the long sound goes like this. E. What uppercase letter is this? E. E says E eh and E. So today I have something that's not inside of the letter box, and you'll see why in a few minutes. This is something that starts with the letter E. This is a body part. It's found on the face, and it's used for hearing. Hmm. What part of your body is used to hear? Your ear. So most people have two ears, one on each side of their face. Ears are used for your sense of sound. An ear starts with the letter E. This is how you write an uppercase E. E. One more time. Here is the number of the week. Friends, do you remember which double digit number this is? 20, that's right. Now when you write the number 20, you have to write two numbers. Can you show me with your fingers what number you write first? Two. And after the number two, you write the number zero, two, zero, 20. Let's count the number 20 together using the large B frame. This is how you count to the number 20 using the large bead frame. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going to trade these 10 units for one 10. Two tens, 20. We have one more thing to count today inside of the number box. I have this yellow calendula flower and I'm going to pick off 20 petals. Will you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and one more petal makes twenty. Twenty petals. Yesterday I showed you how to say earth in sign language. Do you remember how? Let's do that together. Earth. If you ever find yourself in a busy city, a sandy desert, or a wet and muddy swamp, it's important to be able to follow directions. Directions tell us which way to go and prevent us from getting lost. Directions may be pretty simple at first, like go up or down. 
but then the directions may get more complicated. Turn right or go north. Before there were maps or navigation systems, people would rely on the sun and stars for directions. Later on, the sun and stars were replaced by a compass, which is a tool used to give us directions. A compass has a thin magnetic needle, which will show you which way is north or up, south or down, east and west, or the cardinal directions. Making a compass may be a little tricky, so let's go over the cardinal directions instead. For today's work, you will need two sticks and four small pieces of paper labeled N for north, S for south, E for east, and W for west. I'm outside right now, and the first thing that I'm going to do is to take my two sticks and I'm going to make a lowercase t like this. Now, this next step you may need your grown up to help you with. You need your grown up to show you which direction is north. So I know that north is pointing up this way. I'm going to put the N right here for north. North always is pointing at the top and south is always at the bottom. So that means that I can put S right down here. North goes at the top, south goes at the bottom. After north comes east and across from east is west. North, south, east, and west. These are the cardinal directions. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give my video a thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. At this time, I am now offering one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions as well as curriculum consultations, so please feel free to reach out for more information. Before we go, we have one last song to sing, so let's wave goodbye like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, friends, and I'll see you tomorrow.